Hello everyone, we will be making this lovely weave basket in this tutorial video and with the help of the add-on tissue. If you haven't installed it, you need to go to edit, preferences, select add-ons and then in the search you can type tissue and this is the first one, click the check mark and then it will be installed okay and then when you press the n key on your keyboard it will appear here the tab tissue when you click it you get the settings and then we will further in the video will explore how to use this add-on so let's start making this weave basket okay i will go to my top view and shift a i will add a plane okay press n and i can change the x and y to 100 centimeter now if i go closer and press tab to go into the edit mode and then while everything is selected if not i can press a to select everything it is just one single face right click subdivide and right click again to subdivide again now i will go to my face selection mode and i will select the top row of faces and i will select this row over here and delete press x and select faces if i select this face and the first one from here and then i will raise it up i'm trying to make the weave patch so press G to move and press Z to move it out over here. If I go to my edge selection mode and select these edges, one, two, three, and then select these edges by holding shift. And now if I bevel just to smooth out the flow, so control B and I can use my mouse wheel to add more cuts and then maybe i can add one more so if i click so if i expand this panel for settings let's change this to 15. so this is the width with three segments okay so this is good enough all right so we will accept this and now press ctrl a and select all transforms so it will make the scale value collapse to one and if i right click and select origin to geometry so the pivot point is in the center so if i duplicate this press shift d and i would like to rotate it press r and i will press the z key so i will rotate along the z axis and type in the value 90 nine, zero. press enter and now if i select both of these pieces shift select and press ctrl j so that it becomes one single piece one object and now if i add the modifier the array modifier just to check how this is connecting okay so we need to make this seamless all right go into the edit mode press tab and then i will select the edges over here in order to snap i will change this to vertex press the g key to move and press z to move it up in the z axis and now if i bring the mouse over here and hold the control key so it will snap okay this is good this is just the copy it is displaying if i turn this off you can see the same thing i will do from this side up comes down and then it should should go up so i'll select this edge and press a g to move in the z axis and then hold control to snap okay good and now if i turn this back on 
you can see it is meeting now what i need is the smooth flow okay so in order to do it i will bring the mouse over here Control r to add a cut and somewhere over here and then press g and zx is to move it up and now i can bevel it bevel it so it gives me a smooth flow all right same thing we will do for this one so control r bring this over here and then press g and z to move this down just a little bit and then i can press control b to give it so that we have a smooth flow all right and now if i delete this or I change this from 1 to 0 and bring this to the y-axis and let's see what's happening on this side okay so we will repeat the same process control R bring this up slightly and then press G and Z move this up a little bit and then control b to smooth this out all right very good same thing over here add a cut bring this down somewhere here just a little bit and then press g and z move it down and then i can press control b to add this smooth okay so this is good now i can remove it we have completed successfully to create the weave patch all right so we can rename this let's add this to weave okay let's move this to the side and we will create a box a cube so now if i change the width let's change the width to maybe 350 okay now let's go into the edit mode and i will select the top face and delete it select the face so the face is deleted now i can add more segments to it Control r and then i can use the mouse wheel to add segments okay so maybe i will add 14 segments and right click and let's add more segments just to keep this in a square shape let's add more cuts over here just trying to keep this as close as possible to the square shape and keeping them somewhat equal and now what we will be doing is we will go to the tissue modifier tab and we'll select the weave patch and then we will select the target object and we can click the tessellate with the quad is selected this is the default setting so let's accept it as is but before accepting it let's select smooth shading and let's select merge we don't get the setting but we can change the settings in the object data properties panel which is over here so let's click ok and see the result all right let's hide this cube and let's see our result okay we need to add some thickness to it so uh, let's add the modifier solidify okay let's go to negative one let's give some normals to it auto smooth so this is the result it's looking good all right now we can add the top part the way we will be doing it let's hide this for now we will unhide the cube we'll press tab to go into the edit mode and alt click 
will select all of the top edges and then if I press P to separate the selection okay so I can hide the Q and this is the selection let's uh, make this all transform and let's bevel the vertex select all of the vertex from the corner and let's right click and say bevel vertex so let's just add a little bit of a bevel five centimeter okay now if i right click and convert to a curve you can see the symbol is now changed to the curve and let's rename this to path i can shift a add a torus rotate this the x axis 90 and rotate this one more time along the z axis 90 okay let's scale this down and now press ctrl a and select all transform to collect to collapse the scale value to one and rotation to zero okay now if i add the array modifier and if i increase distance and now in order to use this path curve we will add another modifier called curve and from here we will select the curve from the list and this is the one we just created and now if we increase the count so in real time we can manage it so the size is very big so if i select this so i can see this while i'm editing it so press tab to edit so I can see the result at the same time if I turn this off I don't see the result so let's turn this on while I select everything while I edit this so let's reduce the scale so I can see the size let's unhide the basket okay now we can see and manage the size okay then we can increase the size just a little bit and let's increase the count i think i need to bring this out just a little bit so if i press the g key and press the y key so i can move it in the y-axis uh, maybe more g and y like this okay so with the help of the tissue modifier we made this weave basket very easily hope you enjoyed it so don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye